Hello friends, this is Coldrun. Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker. We are here in Elpis, ready to continue with the main story quest. I don't think any new... Ooh! Let me check out this fate first. The fate is you hurt my researcher, prepare to die. A group of hipposurfs are on the lam following a grisly attack on a researcher. Oh no. You with your unimpeachable sense of leave me alone, Phanopsyche. You with your unimpeachable sense of justice will no doubt find these beasts and make them pay. Yes, I think one of the things that something like um, Moby Dick taught us, for instance, is that you can absolutely can and should take revenge against creatures, animals that don't, you know, act with ha malice intended. Anyway, now that we've taken revenge against some animals, let us pick a minion for the day. The Flame Hatchling. Oh, we got Raubon yesterday, and now we get... I never noticed that the Flame Hatchling is wearing Raubon's, like, a horn from Raubon's helm. That's kind of amazing. Flame Hatchling, raised by a flame private from an egg found abandoned in the company stables. He was charged with... Uh, he, company stables he was charged with cleaning. This adorable fledgling is a symbol of new beginnings for the immortal flames. Uh... Chocobo dander can be a mite ripe chocobo keep. Yeah, I get the sense that chocobos do smell pretty rough. In the same way that, like, I don't know, any other animal, like goats or sheep, smell rough. Anyway, Emmett's elk. I don't know what answer he's searching for, or if it's within our power to give it, but I believe he would make a fine fan, Daniel, and that if he rejects us out of hand, we will all be lesser for it. I agree. Hithlodeus. Travelers at the crossroads. Hithlodeus wishes to discuss plans for the remainder of your visit. Where to now? If there is anywhere you would like to visit before we leave, I should be glad to show you the way. That's a good point. The goal of this place wasn't... Wasn't... Well, the goal of this... Like, there's a lot we haven't seen here. The goal of this... Our time in Elpis wasn't to... What was it? What was our actual goal in coming here? I'll check that in a second. I don't, I'm, I'm trying trouble remembering what exactly the specific thing we were trying to accomplish was. Just finding, was it just finding out more about the, the cause of the, uh, of, of the, the final days? If there's any way you'd like to visit before we leave, I'm glad to show you the way. Okay. Emmett Selk. Hermes has not outright refused his position with the convocation, merely postponed the decision. As such, I may as may well I may as well resume my assessment. If we cannot accompany him, then I will content myself with questioning his colleagues. Hithlodeus, ever the pragmatist, then allow me to remain your humble guide. And what of you, Kakushu? Will you continue along with us? Yes. Wonderful. Our fellowship travels on unbroken. Hello, Flame Flame Hatchling, <laughs> you're kind of adorable. I say we explore another part of Elpis and see what new encounters there are to be had. If you would follow me, we will first head back toward Anonorisis. Anonorisis. Yeah, that's an enthusiastic flame chick. To your surprise, it was none other than Fendaniel who shed light upon the phenomenon of the final days and thence dedicated himself to devising a countermeasure. So that's what we're here to do. Okay. So Fen Daniel, now Hermes, currently Hermes, is the one who has some kind of major insight eventually that we're going to try to be there to pick up the, to kind of, what do you call it? Um, what do you call it when someone, to, to carry the torch for? So we're going to try to carry, to, to learn what we can from whatever his insight was. Emmett Selk. Didn't we part ways with Hermes not far from here? Given the size of Elpis, I didn't expect our paths will cross again before long. Yeah, it's not that big. Hithlodeus. From here, we follow the path northwards to Notaneus. There we will find one of the Naos, which facilitate travel between the islands of Elpis. Oh, is that what those towers are? Like that thing up there that's just uh, to the left of the quest marker. First time travelers must be accompanied by someone with the requisite permission which I have previously been granted. 
we need only use the device together once, and thenceforth, henceforth, you will tr leave together. You will have leave to use it freely. Shall we? Very much so. Lead on, Hithlodeus. Oh, never mind. It's not the towers. It's these Ethernet. This is almost like a little Ethernet network. Emmett Selk. Unless the need is pressing, I won't be tracking Hermes with my ethereal sight. Tis poor manners to spy on someone's comings and goings in such a fashion, so don't ask. Well, that's very respectful of you, though you lost that later in life. Social conventions notwithstanding, perceiving ether requires deliberate and intense concentration, and we otherwise keep our eyes on the corporeal world. That's good to know. I don't think I can interact with this, can I? No. Hethlodeus. Here we are. No to Naeus. This Naeus will take us to Calim Calimelios Zephyros, the western island. Zephyr was like the western, the name for the west, west wind, right? That's it right there, looming large over us. Step this way and we can soon admire the view from above. Pop, pop, pop. And up we go. Uh, very cinematic here. I like it. Pop. I present to you Calamelios Zephyros. Calamelios Zephyros. Here you will find a number of testing facilities, as well as the observation hub of Poiton Oikos. Poiton Oikos. Poiton. Poiton. I'm not going right to remember now. that. Let's begin by... Hmm. Oh, Luce Spriggan? Well, well. An Arrhaeus. How delightful. Look at its little legs! Is it lost? And what, pray tell, is that? Was that a shark? It's one oh, of the sharks! That's a new species of shark. We approved the concept, but a few days ago. That's one of the boss sharks that we... I mean, it's probably not exactly the same, but it reminds me of those two boss sharks that were like the twin bosses in... Was it Gimlet Dark that we fought them? I don't remember. Sharks are among the most popular sea creatures. Rare is the day when someone does not submit a new concept. Look at its belly! It's so cute! At first, they were largely orthodox, consideration given to such things as size and environmental impact, and then a whimsical someone thought to bestow it with flight, another superior intelligence, and then the floodgates burst, concepts with multiple heads or arms or legs or arms and legs. Oh and my so God. And so forth. It was getting absurd. A part of me wanted to tell them to go away and find something else to create, but in the end, I couldn't deny their passion. And <sighs> here we are. It's coming to give us a hug. We're, we're not. <laughs> okay. That was too close. Are you unharmed? Is this the... God, I have a... Ter Again, I have a terrible memory and faces blend together for me. Is this... The form that we saw Heidelin take? Well now, if it isn't a pair of familiar faces. So, this has got to be either Azem or Vena. I think it's probably... I, first, I, I don't think we're going to see Azem. That's my guess. I think I, I'd be surprised if we saw Azem as like a main character beyond a brief cameo. Just because I get the sense that Azem... Azem's appearance and uh, varies based on the player based on the warrior of light so i'm gonna guess this is vana vana that we should meet you here yes okay that makes sense as i mentioned earlier the better part of the convocation holds that when we retire is when we return to the star however well, 
Chi is not among said majority. Even after stepping down, she carries on with her work. Oh, good. Okay. I'm glad to see that. Also, I can't get over the shark's belly. Vinar is her name, and she is the previous Azir. Oh, shit. Well, I was... I'm already kind of wrong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it has been a while, Hithlidaeus. You look well. Well, on the other hand, she's the previous like, previous Azem, but on the Azem, like it, it, the history of Azems, don't matter just yet. Like in terms of being, it's not like I'm part of her, because if I'm if I'm understanding it correctly, like the the like the Fan Daniel that we knew in the in our our time had nothing to do with. Was, at least was not part of the direct soul of, say, the Fan Daniel who's about to die before Hermes takes his place. Um, just because until before this, it, it's only the uh, the the specific version, uh, the specific occupant of that seat at the time of the sundering that you know that we'd be a part of, or that anyone else would be a part of. Less so, Emmet Selk. I dare say the lines upon your brow have both deepened and doubled in number. A shame for one so young. <laughs> you must make an effort to frown less often. She has got some of the Matoya energy going on, and I immediately like her. Oh, so does he. Easier said than done, thanks to your unruly successor. How is she, if I may ask? Incorrigible as ever. Rushed headlong into a volcano on the brink of eruption just the other day. I should be glad to share the tale in its entirety later, if you're so inclined. I mean, they're both the, it's the seat of the Traveler. Ha! Oh, you know I am. Now then... I like her eyes, too. You are? Uh... What do you... what's happening? I guess I'm having a hard time, like, answering. Because of the memory of who she is. Oh, the grumpy face. Why does she get the grumpy face? Have you perchance come from the future? Oh, shit. Um, yeah, that well said, Kikushu. I do not believe we have ever met, yet I sense my magic upon you. Ugh, yeah, and so we're not part of Vana in terms of being, like, in terms of the... I mean, unless Vana somehow take, retakes the soul of Azem, but I don't think she's going to do that. It, it, they, they're pretty clear that the successor is the person that whose soul we're a part of, but if she's part of Hydaelyn, then... Because she was... It, definitely let me know if I'm misremembering this. I seem to remember that in the 5.3 lead up to the... And in, in during during 5.3, we saw, like, the convocation assembling to get... Um, assembling to, to, to counter Zodiac. And she was on that. So she, her magic is, like, Heidelin's magic in this case. Therefore, if I wave the enchantment... I could only have done so at a later point in time. This isn't Ishtola's voice actress, is it? What manner of magic is this, if I may ask? A traveler's ward, of course. It prevents the corruption of one's ether. That's what the echo is. Sounds like the blessing of light, yeah. Enthrallment by primals, by any chance. I don't think she knows what primals are. Let's... I don't think she knows what any of these are, but let's... Primals, this is a... This at least is just me rambling to myself. It's, it would be weird to ask her about primals. This sounds rather like the Blessing of Light. I see you are not ignorant to its presence. And while there are many protective spells, the one you bear is unmistakably mine. Has that Vinage ne sais quoi. Hold on. From the future? That's absurd. I mean, we're caught, so... What is it? A 
Are you unable to speak of the matter? Pro probably shouldn't. I've seen Back to the Future. The reality to which you must return exists as a result yeah. of the final days. You cannot reshape the past to undo the tragedies of the present. I can accept that. Yeah, so I just say I can't, can't say anything else. I mean, the other interpretation is that anything I say would, not, would do nothing Sir, to prevent it. Your actions here will not change your history, but they may yet affect the course of ours. Oh, so we might cause, like, a branching timeline? That... I don't know. How very exciting. I'm quite fond of delving into the unknown. And there's naught more unknown than the future. That's fairly said. Until a moment finally arrives, we cannot know for certain what will come to pass. Regardless of our supposed foreknowledge. So you needn't worry for us. Yeah, I think that's that was my interpretation of it as well. That, like, regardless of what... I think that he... What, um... What's his name? That, um... What Elidibus was saying was that we can't change the... We can't change, uh... The few, we can't change the timeline, like, at all. Like, even if we tell everything and give them exact strategies on how to avoid it, that it would still come to pass. So I'm, I'm actually not too worried about you know, butterfly affecting this, uh, this whole thing into, you know, into some, some distant bad future, More worse future. that you should go to such great lengths as to travel unto the past bespeaks the gravity of your quest. Will you not reveal it to us? Mayhap we can be of aid to your cause. I'm open to it. I think you're persuasive. If this is true, then you've been keeping quite the secret to yourself. Yes, we have. And you got As fooled. As a representative of the Convocation, I will hear it all. Your identity, purpose, everything. I'm sure he has also has ways to draw it out of us. Why don't we move to a place more conducive to calm conversation? Okay. I've been working here for some days now at an old friend's behest. Which if friend? Hermes? We may make use of my accommodation at Poit and Oikos. Okay. Yeah, it's a rough decision. We were meant to meet. I am certain of it. I... That's... Cut, I don't know. Something in your voice is a little bit sinister. It may Elsa just be my lingering mistrust of Heidelin. And sent you unto myself in the past. Like, that's not quite true. It's precisely the sort of mischief I would get up to. I'm quite inspired, if I do say so myself. Like, I like her, but there's also... I don't know. She seems, she seems extremely crafty. Hmm. Emmet Selk. Again, just checking for... Ooh. Grand Designs Unknown. That's another of those Grand Designs quests. We've had a couple of those before. Known Unknown. Melitos the Inscrutable uh, has hit upon a rather new concept which he hopes to test by pitting it against any available champions, any takers. Oh, this is like, these are, um, this is the thing that we saw as the, what is it, unknown specimen or whatever, the bosses in, it was the, the, the boss in, in the, uh, what the hell, I don't, I, I, I'm terrible with dungeon names, but it was the boss in the place In my, prof I'll, in my profession, we would call an abject failure. Let my perhaps I let my fancy carry myself too far in the design phase. I will have to try again. Oh, grand designs, the newest of new. Calm yourself, focus, and picture clearly in your mind's eye. Hellacious horns rippling through 
fearsome something. Yeah, this is another. The Kicklops. This is the, the, the second boss in that same dungeon. This is the, the boss in that dungeon where we were carried there on the back of Bismarck. Melitos the Inscrutable is added again, only this time a great deal calmer. He seeks to test his latest and greatest creation, the primordial Kiklops. Kiklops. Something. Got it. Alright, what are you trying next? Everyone's leaving, so my good- why, wow, you defeated it! Goodness, what an incredible familiar you are. You should be getting quite familiar with that concept. Rest assured, if uh, witnessed all the see to, to fix my creations, it'll return to anime, anam, anamis, anamnesis anamnesis anider to fix my creations. So th that must have been where we saw those bosses before. That must have been from uh, anamnesis and anider anider. How do you how do you pronounce it again? By the way, part of my mistrust of Vina is not from 14 even, it's from Final Fantasy 12, where she was a kind of a sympathetic antagonist, antagonistic force, if I remember correctly. Emmet Selk. And there I thought you were a harmless stray familiar. As far as I'm concerned, this nebulous talk of future this and changing history that can wait. First, I mean to find out exactly who you are and what you hope to achieve here. I, hmm. Part of me is also thinking, if we reveal stuff to him now, how much did he know throughout our time in the future? Hithlodeus. The future? Our future? I'm deathly curious to hear more. Benah. My apologies, but before we move along, a colleague has, a has tasked me with a matter which... I'd rather not leave unresolved. It involves finding a certain concept graved crystal and the quick fingered Aureus which made off with it. Oh, we saw it. Iphlodeus. An Aureus, you say? I think we may have seen the culprit with, before being distracted by that business with the shark. Would you like us to follow its ethereal trail? Hiccups. That would, of course, lead only to the Aureus. There's no guarantee that it hasn't dropped or stashed away the crystal you seek. Bena. Please, even that much would be enormously helpful. While you are hunting down the thief, I can follow behind and scour the forest floor just in case. Could I ask you to join the search? I would appreciate another pair of eyes to cover the land to the west of here. Absolutely. Many thanks. There's a small bridge leading to Po- I've already forgot it. Poiton? Poiton Oikos. Let us meet up, up, up there once we've exhausted our efforts. See you, Vinah. Like, on one hand, Hith uh, uh, not Hithlodeus, uh, Heidelin is clearly a, has been beneficial to us in the past, but Zodiac's gone. And if I'm looking for final bosses, I mean, currently that's, uh, Heidelin is like one of the, the main big characters left. Who's not currently a big bad, but I wouldn't be surprised if she eventually became a big bad. Or were revealed to be, uh, not necessarily a big bad who was manipulating us mwa ha ha all the time, but whose ultimate goal is not something that aligns with what we want. Also, this is, uh, like, a version of that creature that... that the archer in the Warriors of Darkness, uh, fought against, isn't it? Like, the giant horned curl. Search for the concept crystal. Got it. A scintillating crystal upon which is stored some manner of esoteric concept. Yeah, it's like a little USB flash drive thing. Emmet Selk. Or, yeah, Emmet Selk. The problem you present is vexing enough without adding the old Ozem into the equation. Ah, she wonders why these lines upon my brow grow deeper when she herself wields the hammer and chisel. Yeah, Emmett Selk is like, it's funny, he is at least, at least at this point, he was doomed to be the straight man. He almost is, reminds me a little bit of Angel from the Buffy series in that he, like, spent so much time being the straight man and then, like, went the whole 
the whole way around once he got some power once he got not power but i don't know it seems like he at a certain point he, he tried to turn it all around i wonder if he was always that straight man at heart a grumpus straight man hithlodeus the azems both mentor and student are a force to be reckoned with i find them a delight personally but they have a habit of making emmet silk look as if he bit it as if he bit down on a sour grape yeah they i get that sense Fana. our last searcher returns I'm afraid the Aureus no longer had the crystal, nor was I able to find it, as I followed in its wake. Well, fear not. I don't suppose you fared any better. I did. Call me a taxi, because I fared amazingly. The crystal, well done. Wonderful. Now I can focus on your tale without that missing concept nagging at my mind. Have you always had the knack for finding things? Uh, yeah. Actually, I have. I just open up my HUD, and there the quest location is. I've often been asked to do so. Traveling and searching go hand in hand. That's more poetic. Vana, you travel often, then. It seems we have something in common. Boy, do we. Long ago, when I held the seat of Azem, I was forever trekking back and forth across the star in search of answers to people's problems. Naturally, the need for such journeys has lessened considerably since I entrusted the position to my whimsical successor. Yet I am still eager to come running should an old acquaintance or new interest require my personal attention. This is what brings me to Elpis, in fact. Many times has my presence been requested, my opinions sought concerning the habitat of this or that creation. Agreeing to help locate that missing crystal was a minor distraction which now promises to become a major revelation. How strange and wonderful it is the way one thing leads to another. Wouldn't you agree? I, I do agree. She's a, she was a video game protagonist in her own right. Still is, it sounds like. Ba, 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 ba. A past not yet come to pass. Vana is in a cheerful mood. Thank you again for your timely help. Now then, tis time I return this stolen property. If you would go on ahead to my accommodation, I will, soon, I will join you as soon as I have attended to that task. Follow the path straight to the building at the top of the slope. I have the entire place to myself, so we can speak without fear of being disturbed or overheard. Oh, this is like her own private thing? Or maybe she just means she has a house there. Yeah, that seems more likely. Glaphora and Melanipe. Oh, look at you. You have a little trio of, uh, I don't remember what those are called, the little dewdrop things. Glaphora. I consider it essential to exchange ideas with my, with my colleagues regarding my observation work. Without such external stimulation, one has a tendency to lose the forest for the trees, so to speak. Melanipe. I always feel much better after taking a short respite to converse and debate with my associates. Uh, it depends on the kind, for me, it depends on the kind of debate we're doing, but I, I certainly get that. Ooh, King of the Hill, fate. Fate distraction. Delirious Melanian. Two territorial creatures, the Delirious Melan Melanioi and the Elpis Minotaurs, have begun something of a turf war. Only violence can end the struggle for dominance. That's what I've learned. You gotta fight fire with fire, you gotta fight violence with violence. The only thing that can bring about peace is more violence. Oh, neat, so we fought off the first wave. Oh, okay, I didn't even see this. So, yeah, there's like waves of of the uh, Melanian and Melania, Melanioi, Melanioi? And the Minotaurs, Minotauroi. There we go. We found your nice little, nice little cubby hole, Hithlodeus. You needn't be nervous around Vana. Those white robes mark her as one of the fair, one of fair and impartial reasoning. Ah, yeah, that's what Elidibus was. That makes sense. That the white robes were the mark of the emissary among the Assians, and here they're the mark of, yeah, someone of someone kind of fair and even. Aside from the 
Aside from the emissary Elidibus, such garb is worn only by those who have stepped down from public office to serve as advisors. Whatever you have to say, she will listen without judgment. That's good. I like, the, I like those types of characters. Who was the guy in... I've, I'm on an angel in Buffy kick. Who was the guy on that wonderful... Lorne. I, like, I love the Lorne character, like from Angel. Emmett Selk. Yes, this will be far more comfortable than interrogating you on the side of the road. Yeah, for both of us. Vana. Welcome to my temporary abode. Please, make yourself at home while I put on some tea. Some proto-tea. Wonderful aroma. I feel more relaxed already. I never feel relaxed when I'm, when I'm about to eat or drink something in this game. Would There's always I a... had sweet meats to offer, but I travel light out of habit. I love her eyes. There's plenty of hot water though, so please have as much tea as you like. I may have a crush on God in, in on Final Fantasy XIV's version of God, or at least one of her avatars. <laughs> Will you tell us your tale? And her voice is just amazing. Got that husk to it. I think it's safe. I honestly do. Yeah, here we go. Okay. A cal In the future I came from, a calamity called the final days has befallen the world. The world has been sundered, broken into shards. Mankind is being forced to flee the star. Let's drop the term final days here, just in case that reminds, that rings a bell with some prophecy or theory or something. Why don't you start from the beginning? Uh, it's we're gonna have to tell Emmett Selk about his role in this, won't we? Which will be weird, because again, then that means he'll have known about this about us the whole time in Shadowbringers and before. Unless there's there could be some memory wipe thing at the end of at the end of whatever conversation this is to protect the integrity of the timeline. Yeah, so we're sharing everything. I mean, for, for all we know, this could be a loop thing where we're the one who gave the idea of of Heidelin and Zodiac to these people. Oh, God, this has got to be... Poor Emmett Selk. This is a lot for him to take in. Poor everyone. Sorry for bringing down the mood. Preposterous. Utterly preposterous. Like, Vana was expecting some kind of future shenanigans. Like, oh, you probably just came here to... For for my future YouTube prank channel, but like no, sorry. While not the words I would have chosen, I too have my doubts. Much of it borders on the incredulous. Understandable. What of you, Vanar? She's gonna believe it, I think. Yeah, she's like unbalanced, not like physically the unbalanced. Details of the fast final days. It is difficult to determine the veracity of the tale. Supposing it is all true, I must ask myself why I would do what I did. Why would I feel I had no recourse but to oppose the 14 and create this Heidelin? So that wasn't a fever dream. She did that was something that she brought up explicitly in those in those logs. Okay. Circumstances change, of course. 
But it would not have been an easy decision regardless. No. There must have been a reason. One compelling enough to force me to take such drastic measures. Then there is the Elpis flower, which I said would serve as a guide. I mean, you said, but I don't know if that was... I guess it was you. I mean, if you... If you played the same role as Olidibus did, if you played the role for Hydaelyn as Olid the same role for Hydaelyn as Olidibus did for Zodiark, then I guess that really was like your spirit, not just a body that Hydaelyn happened to take on. That it's of import to your mission is plain, but your presence here leads me to believe that this place also holds significance. But what could it be? What are we meant to accomplish? I mean, you could... Rogue One spoilers for the next 30 seconds, I guess, but, like, you could put in some kind of, like, knowing what's to come, you could try to put in some kind of flaw that... that... I don't know, will allow us... To, no, but you would... If you knew that sort of thing, if you knew how to stop the final days, you would just stop it now. Might it not be simply thus? In the future, when she came, the final days could not be averted. Mankind has no choice but to flee the star. Could be. By alerting us to that eventuality, perhaps you wish to pave the way for other futures. Or maybe this is the thing that gets you kicked off with the moon rabbits and preparing for at least us to at least flee. Because, I mean, fleeing and being ready to flee is better than nothing. Theoretically speaking, it is a possibility. Yet if that were my primary objective, I see no reason to guide our friend to Elpis specifically. It's got to be something to do with either you or Hermes. The capital and Amorot. Or even my own home would be more logical destinations. So it's got to be something to do with Hermes. I mean, the focus... No, because we know the focus is on Hermes. We know that he ended up coming with some theory to about the final days that we're trying to grab a hold of, right? Did I misunderstand that in the quest text? True, true. I note also that Hydaelyn did not specify a point in time to which she must return. By this, it may be inferred that it was not critical that we should meet. Alternately, she had reason to believe that our paths would converge, coincidental though it may seem. Hmm. This is quite a puzzle, and we do not have all the pieces. Hardly any, but we do have one immutable fact. What do you got? If the final days are indeed as described, they will bring death to all that I hold dear. Yes, Yet this is true. being afforded long years of preparation, the only provisions I could make were for flight. She seems... I So even if I'm still a little bit wary of her, I no longer think that she's masterminding anything, at least in the moment. Maybe eventually she does, but... And maybe even this kicks off her doing some masterminding, but I don't think that she is right now, like, I think that she's legitimately taken aback. I don't think she's playing play acting here. Nay, my first and foremost endeavor would be to find a way to forestall the coming doom. Given that even the 14 failed, mayhap you deemed it impossible. Nothing is impossible. This I have always believed. And if Heidelin is indeed me, she would believe the same. Listen to yourself. Are you seriously entertaining the notion that you are a messianic figure in some far-fetched tale? Kind of, kind of, maybe, yeah. Well, I will not. I refuse to accept that our world could be undone by some unforeseen calamity. I again I don't I, I hard no take blaming. Offense to my portrayal as a megalomaniacal madman. I hope that's not how I portrayed you because that's not 
what I got from you. I think your values were way different and you were absolutely a villain, but I, I don't, I would not have, if I were given some words to describe you, a very few of them, I would not have gone with megalomaniacal madman. To sacrifice oneself for the star is a noble act, and I would hold those who gave themselves to this zodiac in the highest esteem. Right. But you were tempered. You weren't really in control of yourself at that point, also. Yet, you claim I recreated Amarot and populated it with phantoms of our people? A bizarre indulgence that would be insulting to their memory. Can I just say how... This is such a surprising turn of events that we're just talking about the future with these people. I honestly thought that we would be keeping it close to the vest. It introduces so many more variables and X factors into the equation. Like, it makes the outcome of where this is going so much harder to predict and so much more confusing than it would have otherwise been. It's a, a really bold move for the game to do that. Worse still, I even invited you there. Literally invited my own downfall. Why would I do something so idiotic and inexplicable? It's a fair question. I mean, the answer they seem to be... I don't know if they're actually hinting at this, but one of the main answers they, they could be hinting at right now is that it wasn't inexplicable. That he was doing it because he was trying to... Because his goal was to... I don't know, either some part of him or fully consciously, either whether subconsciously or even fully consciously, wanted to be defeated in that case to lead to whatever happens in Endwalker. I don't know. I kind of hope not. I, I don't want it to diminish the v great villain he was. Now, I will allow that the hypothetical task of restoring our world would be daunting in the extreme. The thought of having to bear such a burden for a thousand, thousand lives horrifies me. As well it should. But I would never forsake my duty. I would never forsake my brethren. Well, Emmett Selk, I mean, the, the Emmett Selk that we saw in Shadowbringers didn't, wouldn't, wouldn't have seen that. He saw himself as carrying on his duty. You do not know me. No, we know the I version of we, we saw in the future. Fiction. I will return to my duty, and you will not bother me again. Yeah, this is and hard to so square away. Wait! You've seen much of Elpis already. If you have any observations to share, I should like to hear them. The Elpis flower is the big thing. Dynamis is the key to all this. Hermes and Medion are somehow involved. It's, I'm going to go, I mean, I think Dynamis is definitely a, a key, but I'm going to go with Hermes and Medion are somehow involved. I'm not confident enough that Dynamis is the answer. Hermes and his creation Meteon, you say? If Dynamis is the self-same energy as Akasha, as it likely seems, then those two may well be at the center of the calamity to come. This warrants further investigation. Yeah, it does. With that settled, it is time for action. You seem like a very action-oriented woman. The missing pieces of the puzzle are here, I'm certain of it. And when you find them, the picture my future self has painted will be complete, and you will have your answer. And suffice it to say, I will aid you in your quest. Thank you. Have faith. If Emmet Selk is the man Azum described to me, we've not seen the last of him. Oh, okay. I was trying to figure out what, what she's saying, but I think she's just saying here that if Emmet Selk is, that like Emmet Selk isn't just going to go his own way. He's going to try to get to the bottom of, of, of whatever's going on here.
He's not just giving up and saying you're lying. I, I agree with that. Okay. Um, I'm going to call it for here. This is all the time I have for today. Thank you for watching. I will see you all later. Bye-bye.